You are looking live at some hazy breaks of sunshine. Yeah, we're talking about some brighter skies for the first time in about four days. Hello, I'm 29 First Alert to meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. That was the live view in Charlottesville and any new rain chances will not add to the ongoing high water along our rivers and streams. This was the view yesterday, yesterday before the Rivanna River crested at minor flood stage. Thanks to Melissa along the South Boston Road Bridge in Fluvanna County showing the high water, just some minor high water into the low line areas and the Rivanna River has crested and it will continue to dry drop over the next couple of days in that first forecast. Here's what I'm tracking. The next big thing is going to be a dry and a mild weekend. In fact, it look it looks like over the next week or 10 days, not much in the way of organized weather systems. Just a few rain chances over the next couple of afternoons in that first forecast for the rest of this Wednesday. Temperatures coming on up through the low and mid 70s. The warmest day we've had since about last Saturday. We should top out in the low to mid 70s by four or five o'clock clock and by the end of the day into this evening, there is a chance for a passing shower, maybe even a brief downpour, but nothing all that organized and nothing severe. I guarantee it. 29 first alert Doppler radar is showing us no organized weather systems, but it's a slow go with some construction ongoing into the ID one corridor. That is the Stanton vicinity on ID one at uh, mile marker 221 looking off towards the northbound lane there. The big picture shows a cold front over wild and wonderful West Virginia as it crosses the Alleghenies. It'll produce a couple of more showers and downpours to redevelop. But behind this front, look at all the dry, clear skies all the way to the Rockies and beyond. So our weather for the weekend into next week is just that. Nothing in the way of organized weather systems, and that means drier skies. Future cast shows here is this evening, 5, 6, 7 o'clock. Yeah, passing shower downpour possible. They'll fade away after midnight. Tomorrow morning, some fog, mist, and drizzle. And then a break of sunshine, just a slim shower chance. Then off Friday, morning clouds. Maybe some mist and drizzle and then by 5 p.m. Friday there could be a spotty shower for the valley and into the Blue Ridge, but most areas will not see much rainfall and there's that longer dry spell. A cold front on Monday comes through here with little fanfare, but it will bring us some cooler temperatures. The warmest days of the next 7 to 10 days will be Saturday and Monday almost 80 degrees, but then, then behind the cold front highs barely 70 for a lot of middle and uh, end of next week. In your 29 first alert forecast today, mostly cloudy, hazy breaks of sun, scattered shower in the low to mid 70s. For tonight, any shower fades away after sunset, some patchy fog in the mid 60s uh, by the evening hours, mid 50s to low 60s tomorrow morning. Here's your forecast on Thursday. We'll trend it partly sunny with highs mostly seasonable in the low to mid 70s. Only a slim shower chance. Seven day forecast spotty shower Friday in the mid to upper 70s. Clouds and sun and the weekend looks fantastic. Mid to upper 70s Sunday, Monday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday and then Tuesday a little cooler, but overall dry skies for quite some time next week. Jared.